This is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to give a comparison review between the Kindle Paperwhite and the basic $69 Kindle. Okay, so uh, obviously the main difference is the screen. Uh, the Kindle Paperwhite has the built-in front light, and as you can tell, the background with the light turned all the way up is a lot wider than the background on the regular e Ian Kindle. Uh, so let's go ahead and lower the brightness, and let me show you some of the different settings. So I've got it all the way up right now. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like at about half brightness. Um, still definitely lighter than the Kindle, uh, the basic Kindle, and if we turn the light all the way down, we can actually uh, still see that the background and the color is still a little bit different. The light always stays on a little bit on the Kindle Paperwhite, so it's still on just a hair, but it does add to the contrast just slightly. Uh, but as far as having the light off, they're pretty comparable. Uh, so this is what they look like when you have a light blaring on them right now. I have a bright light right on front of these. Uh, so this is what it looks like in a lower lighting environment. So obviously the basic Kindle is a lot harder to read in this situation than the Kindle Paperwhite. Uh, we've got the different brightness adjusters up here. So in this situation I'd probably have it somewhere around here. Uh, it's not real bright. That way you don't really see the imperfections as much. So the Kindle Paperwhite's light's not perfectly uniform, as I mentioned in its review. Uh, there's sort of some shadows a little bit down here and sort of a little bit of discoloration up here, but uh, it seems to be less apparent when you have lower brightness, so I tend to go down a little bit lower, uh, even at the lowest brightness setting uh, when the light's completely off. Like I mentioned earlier, the lights stay on, and it's still uh, readable for me, like when the room's totally dark like this. It's not bad, even though I usually do have it up a couple of notches in this situation. So uh, Amazon recommends right here, they got the little arrows. Use this in lower lighting. Uh, so that definitely it does work well in lower lighting. It's better than using a reading light, that's for sure. The screen on this one is an 800 by 600 resolution. And the screen on this one is a little higher resolution. So we've got the uh, 1024 by 758. Uh, for the most part, everything looks pretty much the same. In fact, the fonts are a little bit bolder on the uh, Kindle, uh, the basic Kindle right here. You can tell, uh, I don't know if it's going to show up on the, com on the uh, camera, but uh, it's definitely a little bit bolder uh, with these uh, specific... Uh, fonts, the Cecilia font, uh, as far as that goes, the uh, Kindle Paperwhite, the fonts are a little bit more, uh, they're just a little bit more like uh, sharp, they're like uh, sharper around the edges, as whereas the uh, basic Kindle, they're just a little bit rougher around the edges, that's the uh, main difference as far as the screen difference goes. Okay, so as far as the e-reading features go, for the most part they have similar features as you can see from the font selection menu here. Um, let's go ahead and open it up on this one. I hit the keyboard by mistake. Uh, so the Kindle Paperwhite has some additional font choices. So we've got these other font types. We've got Baskerville uh, and we've got these different fonts over here. So with the Kindle, uh, basic Kindle, we have just three choices. We have uh, the regular and then we have condensed and then sans serif. So over here on the Paperwhite, obviously we got some more options. Um, let's go ahead and up the font size so you can see it a little better here. Uh, so we have slightly different font sizes on the Paperwhite just because of the high resolu resolution screen the way things uh, work out. It's just the font sizes are a little bit different. Um, but we still have the same line spacing adjustments and the same margin adjustments on both devices. Uh, one uh, advantage that the paper or the uh, basic Kindle has is you can rotate the uh, screen rotation every four directions. So you can go uh, whichever way you want to set the screen rotation. Uh, you can adjust the screen rotation with the paper white too, but we only have uh, one option. So if we come up here, hit landscape, it'll just switch it over to that mode. Um, so it's not a big deal, but uh, with this one, you obviously you get the option to turn the display upside down all four different ways. With this one, we get it the, this way and then the regular portrait view. So when it comes to page turning, both are about the same, but it's kind of hard to compare because the uh, Paperwhite uses the on-screen uh, taps and the uh, basic Kindle it has uh, these buttons on the side. So there's four buttons, there's a top button and a bottom button on each side for page turning. Then obviously with the Paperwhite we have these buttons, or the uh, basic Kindle we have these buttons as well since it doesn't have a touch screen. you got your back menu, uh, this is the navigation wheel you use to bring up the highlights and bring up your notes and uh, bring up the uh, dictionary which will bring you up down there so with the paper white candle everything is hands-on you just highlight a word and you bring up the dictionary and then we can add notes and stuff from there if you want to just highlight you just uh, you just hold and drag uh, so with the Kindle paper white it's just a little bit more uh, drawn out because you have to hold down the button or tap the button and then select uh, start highlight and then you can drag the cursor uh, where you want it. So obviously using the uh, on-screen but or the buttons and the on-screen keyboard with the paper white is going to be a lot more tedious for uh, text entry, adding notes and stuff like that. 
uh, where, uh, with the uh, Paperwhite Kindle, we have the on-screen keyboard, and it's just obviously it's a lot faster uh, for typing notes, typing URLs, anything like that. So as far as e-reading features goes, they're fairly comparable. Uh, with the Paperwhite, we have some additional features. So we, uh, so this particular book doesn't have it, but we have X-ray, uh, and we also have uh, when we go to the table of contents, it actually generates a table of contents, uh, which is a lot nicer than. Uh, the basic Kindle so it doesn't even show the table of contents because it relies entirely on the books table of contents if it has one at the beginning with hyperlinks uh, so that's definitely a main advantage with the Paperwhite okay so one of the other advantages the Paperwhite has is it has translation so if we like highlight a section we can come in here hit more get the translation and there's uh, a bunch of different languages so we don't have any kind of translation uh, support on the basic Kindle at all so we bring up the menu we have the same sort of options you can shop in the Kindle store, get the book's description, uh, you can view popular highlights, uh, the settings for that are, are in the settings menu for this, but uh, one other new feature we have on the Paperwhite is uh, reading progress. So as you can see it shows you minutes left in the chapter right here, and you can also get uh, minutes in book that shows it right there. Uh, the Kindle, the basic Kindle doesn't have that feature for some reason, they've never added that kind of feature to that, so that's only, uh, you're only going to get that feature on the uh, Paperwhite Kindle. Okay, so as far as the home screen layouts go, we've got a completely different setup here. So uh, the Paperwhite Kindle allows you to view by the book covers, which is rather nice. This is the first Kindle that allows that. Uh, on the home screen, we've got these like recommended titles right here. You can get rid of those by setting parental controls and uh, limiting control to, uh, access to the Kindle store, and then it'll just get rid of those, and they'll show uh, six of them like it does here. Uh, with the paper, or with the basic Kindle, we always just have this regular list. You can scroll through the list, and um, everything's set up in your archived items. Where uh, on the Paperwhite, it's uh, set up in your cloud, so it's just used different terminology. It's the same difference. Uh, so the Paperwhite, like I said, it has the it has the uh, cover view, but you can also switch over to list view if you want. So it's the same list view basically as you. Okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this comparison review right here. As usual, check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information. I'll post a written review uh, comparing these two guys as well with some additional information as far as the tech specs go and the pros and cons between each. Uh, so thank you for watching.